good YouTubers, Gary just on the fan TV. Back guys for another video. Hey man, look, this hits 200 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. That shows me that you guys are liking these videos. So obviously I'm gonna keep doing them. Uh, my new subscribers, thank you for who haven't hit the button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like the content of this video, give it a thumbs up. Rocking with the channel, like I said, go ahead and subscribe, man. All right, so the question for this video is simple. Will J.K. Dobbins be ready for week one? Now, the short answer is, um, I don't care. All right, the long answer is a bit more complicated. So, short answer, I don't care, right? I want him to be 100%. Now, the long answer, let's get into that. J.K. Dobbins is a supremely talented running back, all right? We're talking about a guy who had 800 yards, nine touchdowns, um, his rookie season while only playing 47% of the snaps. He wasn't even on the field half the time for the Ravens and almost had a thousand yards rushing and almost had 10 touchdowns. That's how special of a guy we're talking about here. Okay. Um, splitting carries with Gus Edwards and Mark Ingram at the time. And he definitely should have had more carries than Mark Ingram at the time. You know, we loved Mark, what he did in 2019. Ingram wasn't the same player in 2020. JK was clearly uh, progressing as a rookie and surpassed Mark Ingram. So, you know, that 47% definitely should have bumped up. But let's focus on that. Only 47% of the snaps, 800 yards, nine touchdowns. Phenomenal running back. Phenomenal rookie season, right? For a guy to play that kind of snaps, had that kind of production. Now, we get into the the offseason and the lead-up into the, um, the following season, right? 2021. The story out of the camp is that J.K. Dobbins is looking phenomenal at camp, right? Uh, he wants to model his game like the Christian McCaffrey, means catching the ball, more involvement out the backfield. And even um, there was the picture floating out there that I mentioned before of him skying over Malik Harrison, uh, what looks like for a touchdown, right? He was going to have a full on, I mean, it's hard to say breakout year. I thought he was pretty damn good his, uh, his uh, rookie year, but we'll say a breakout season, year two, right? Ready, really ready to take over one uh, RB1 role and push the Ravens, okay? Gets down to Washington, the preseason game, and he catches a pass, which is something that we were expecting him to do a lot last season, and unfortunately, he gets hurt, okay? And like many Ravens that season, he had an injury that ended up ending his season, okay? Now, where do we go from there? Had Gus Edwards had an injury who ended his season. So, now this video is about J.K., J.K. Dobbins, his injury recovery has kind of been on the hush. It's kind of been on the low key, right? We've had little sprinkles of information here and there, like the fact that he's been around uh, since voluntary OTA starts. He's been around, but he hasn't participated in anything on the field. So when will we see him back on the field? We don't want to rush that, though, okay? Um, you know, he's been seen with Marcus Peters, another guy who's come back from injury, Eric DaCosta laughing, joking. He seems to be in good spirits, right? So that's something that's good to see. But, you know, that doesn't mean it's on-field production or on-field activity, that kind of work, right? Now, he posted on Instagram for the first time since last August when he got hurt, and he hashtagged the comeback. So J.K. Dobbins is hashtagging the comeback, obviously meaning that he's ready to have a big year this year, okay? He has confidence in his body, but is he really ready to play? Okay. And this is why I say I do not care if he's ready to play week one. Let's look at Ronnie Stanley last year. Ronnie Stanley had an injury that forced him to miss time. And he came back last year, week one. We thought I had we thought we had our cornerstone left tackle back. All right. And then we played the we played the Raiders week one. Him and Villanueva are turnstiles the entire game. Yannick Ngakwe off one edge, Max Crosby off the other edge, just giving our guys um, just pressure. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Now, Lamar being Lamar still made a lot of plays. He left them on the field, but made them a lot of plays out there, given what happened. Ronnie Stanley was not ready to play. He just wasn't. But we wanted to see him out there so bad. He wanted to be out there so bad. The Ravens themselves probably wanted him out there so badly that he played and was not ready. Okay? I don't want to see that happen with J.K. Dobbins. 
I really don't. That's why when I say, do I will he be ready for week one? I don't care. I, if that means he has to wait till week four, week six, and then we get the best of J.K. Dobbins or a close enough version, because he's probably still going to need some time to recover this season to ramp up to what he was his rookie year, then I'm fine with that. I don't want to have any regrets about what happened because J.K. Dobbins was on the field too soon, too fast. And I think the Ravens organization um, is seeing that as well. They changed the offseason regimen. They listen to the players' bodies more. And they're not... Not that they weren't before, but I think it's more an emphasis this year. It's, it's a better way to put it, right? Um, because that was something that Mike Andrews had talked about uh, previously, okay? Uh, so, J.K., if he's saying, you know, he's hashtagging the comeback on Instagram, if he's ready to go, great. But I need the trainers. Please, do what's in the best interest of J.K. Dobbins. Don't do what's in the best interest, maybe, of even the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens say, hey, look, we need this guy on the field. Is he ready to go? If it's a no, please make it a no. All right? And let him get fully back and recover. All right? The Ravens have had have insurance policies in place if J.K. Dobbins is not ready to go. Now, Gus Edwards is also coming off an injury, so I'm not going to count him exactly as an insurance policy, but he seems to be wrapping up, you know, ready to go. Uh, hopefully by some point in camp. Um, but the two guys, Mike Davis, Tyler Beatty. Tyler Beatty, six-round draft pick. The first Ravens draft pick that signed, and a guy that led the SEC in rushing. Okay? This is a guy where he can handle some of that responsibility. Catching the ball, rushing, doing whatever. Now, Mike Davis himself, he was in Atlanta, Carolina. He's bounced around the league a little bit. In Atlanta, he lost his job to Cordero Patterson. But he's a good, solid running back that's going to churn out the yardage. Okay? My point is, if J.K. is not 100%, if he's not 110%, do not put him out there week one versus the Jets. Do I want to see J.K. Dobbins play versus the Jets? Of course. But only if he's ready to go. So, when it popped in my head, will J.K. Dobbins be ready for week one? I've been hearing stuff about his injury and stuff like that. It's, it's, a, it's a matter of doing what's best and protecting the player from himself. It doesn't need to be rushed. ACL injuries... While now they become common practice today as far as the recovery process, everybody ain't the same. Everybody ain't equal. Some guys may recover in six to nine months. Some guys may recover in nine to 12 months. It all depends. So I don't want J.K. rushed out to the field because he wants to prove himself or because he thinks that he has to be out there to for his teammates or whatever. They will understand if he needs more time. So... For J.K. Dobbins, if he's ready to go week one, put him out there. He's RB1. He's ready to rock. He's ready to go. And he could possibly win comeback player of the year because he should have that good of a season, especially if they're going to throw him the ball. If they're going to throw him the ball, he has the opportunity to get a lot of catches, over 1,000 yards rushing with maybe another, I don't know, four or 500 yards receiving if they truly do intend on throwing him the football. But... If we got to put that on hold for his his safety and his um, his Ravens future, that's what I'm all down for, okay? So that's why I wanted to say, to drop the question, that will he be ready for week one? It's not about that. It's about long-term possibilities because the Ravens need to AK if they want to make this run. They, they do. So for him to be out there week one, not ready, and it hurt the chances for the rest of the season, I'd rather see him out there week four, week six, ready to go. And he's good for the rest of the year. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's my thought on it. It's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.